Hi guys, and welcome to my second ever Let's Play. Now this is uh, quite weird for me, I actually kind of feel like this is my first Let's Play ever. I'm actually, this is just going to be very, very different to uh, the existing one I've done on Guild Wars. So, you know, I completely understand if none of you guys want to watch that, and none of you existing subscribers. You should know though, that those videos will continue to go out. I have loads and loads and loads of plans for Guild Wars. So, for the time being, I mean, for a long time in the future, it will probably be primarily a Guild Wars channel. This isn't going to affect the Guild Wars uploads, because this is being recorded way before I'm doing Eye of the North and all stuff like that so yeah really don't worry about it. Anyway yeah I kind of wanted to do some other Let's Plays because I figured you know Guild Wars is great and I enjoy it but you know that can't take me everywhere I would like to expand into some other games so I thought I'd try my hand at what I consider to probably is going to be quite an easy Let's Play. Now I don't really have a catch or anything so I don't know how this is going to go so I've just decided to just, just wing it. So, uh, so yeah this is Tomb Raider Legend. This is uh, the first in the second generation of Tomb Raider games. What does that mean? That means that you don't need to know anything about Tomb Raider if you're going to watch this because they've completely reset the character, the story and everything. This is just all brand new. So uh, so yeah, uh, let's start a new game and uh, see how it goes. Um, I've already played the first level just to make sure all the sound levels are okay. Uh, so let's do it. Also, um, the first time I did... Oh, we get this loading screen which goes very fast but it's got some cool information there. And uh, yeah, I also... I'm hoping to get 100%, so uh, we'll see how that goes, Like we'll get all of the secrets and stuff. Anyway, we get a, uh, an aeroplane in the sky for the opening cutscene, and here is brand new Lara and her mother. Just because no one's ever caught one, doesn't mean they're not real. That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yeti only look fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara. If you don't want to be. Spoiled. Look! Henry, what's happened? Croft, hey, 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 hey. This? The Sparrow Tango 229 er We lost our port side engine. Trying to get cross feeds open. Are we going to crash? Orbit engine not responsive. <laughs> yeah. Unless yeah. it's absolutely necessary. Stabilize the jam. So yeah, we get a pretty cool intro, it's not exactly Bioshock level, don't forget this game is a, a few years old, it's a little bit newer than uh, Guild Wars, but yeah, um, and yeah, we start off with a plane crash, and suddenly, we are here in Bolivia. I love the soundtrack here, it's awesome. Yeah, I think you forgot your climbing gear on purpose. What would give you that idea? Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs, only far less boring. Yeah. Well, I want to throw up every time you look down. <laughs> hey, Alice is back. Grab a headset. Back so soon? <laughs> From Florence, wasn't it? Decided on Genoa at the last minute. My dissertation will never see daylight at this rate, but never mind that. What are you doing in Bolivia? Oh yeah, so that's one of her signature moves from the earlier games. She's a lovely pre-incan civilization, currently in ruins. I've been looking for certain artifacts, well, for some time now, and an old friend working in La Paz has tipped me off about a rather promising rumour. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, you can hear three people talking. You've got Lara speaks during the game. Uh, you also get two of her friends who are speaking to her through her headsets. Which I, you can kind of see there. Um, and one of them is called Alistair, and he's kind of a bit of a prude. He's, uh, he's cool, though. I prefer Alistair. And one of them, Zip, who's, you know, uh, really quite cool, quite laid back. 
Uh, and both of those guys are going to be talking, and so am I going to be talking to you. So, yeah, uh, they'll probably interrupt me quite a lot. But, um, yeah, this is why I kind of think this will hopefully be an easy game to let's play, because they talk a lot, so I don't have to worry about commentary so much. But um, we'll see how it goes. So you also get secrets in every level. This is the first. Uh, the secrets look different, but generally there's loads of bronze ones, which are easy to find. There's silver ones, which are a little bit out of the way, and there's a, a single gold one on every level. Uh, and I'm hoping to find all of them. We'll see how that goes. I know where all of them are on this level so uh, that's a start I guess anyway so yeah uh, this is kind of an old game now I think it's like 2006 but it still looks really good I think so uh, yeah I'm actually really excited it feels so weird to be LP in a different game but here we go right so um, yeah really there's lots of climbing and stuff in the game so uh, I think we need to swim through here I don't think there's anything in the pool uh, yeah, you can swim. In fact, there's a sequel to this game uh, called Underworld, which I might do, I don't know. Uh, which is very different. They took a really different direction with it, but there's lots of awesome swimming bits on that. Anyway, so let's come out of the water. Hey, do me a favor and check your PDA. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. <laughs> Alright, so I uh, saw in that cutscene there's another uh, treasure over here. So you get this thing called the PDA. It's uh, I'll, I'll talk about them more later on, but there seem to be like a lot of redundant features in this game that seem to have just been put in for marketing purposes. The PDA is one of them. So you can look at this thing and it will give you objectives about the mission and tell you the stuff that we read on the loading screen and stuff like that. Um, and then there's information about the secrets you've got and your time and stuff like that. So uh, so yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. It gives you all, It tells you about your weapons and stuff. Um, I probably won't be using it that much because, like I said, it's a bit redundant, but there you go. We'll see when we can use it. Um, right, so we want to come over to this rock and uh, you can pick stuff up. Uh, you'll notice that the key it says press E and stuff. I'm not actually using the keyboard because I tried it with the keyboard before and it just feels really weird. It's like a, quite a sloppy port, really. I'm playing this on Steam and I've had a lot of issues getting it to work. But So uh, what I'm actually doing now is just using the Xbox 360 controller, but the, the screen doesn't reflect that because uh, I originally played this on the Xbox a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, so really we're just going to be climbing around. This is a nice rope. This is the first silver medal if you go this way. The video is going to make me sick if you keep on swinging, Lara. Don't worry, Look Alistair. Away from the screen, then. So yeah, they're watching it. They're just like you, really, uh, Alistair and Zip. They're watching it and they're watching Lara play. But of course they don't know it's a game. So anyway, yeah, the first silver, which took me a while to find, I must admit, uh, is here in this cave that you get. Uh, they just expect you to swing across the gap, of course. Uh, but you can go this way. And uh, yeah, this is where we just were. Um, so come through here. Oh yeah, you get a light, which I'll try and use as much as possible. If you guys bitch at me in the comments about it being really dark, please feel free to do that, and then that will remind me to use the uh, the torch a little bit more. Anyway, so yeah, we want to jump up here. Ah, such a beautiful area. I love the water effects. They look so cool. Anyway, this way. Careful. Yes, I'm being Deep careful. Sip. This will be a long trip, otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. It's cool. I'm Lara Croft. I can do anything I want. Oh, shit. <laughs> Except climb up there. Come on, up you get. Good girl. There we go. Right, saving a game so you get checkpoints that automatically happen. And oh my god. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Whew. All right. Okay, so boulders. These are a bit of a hallmark of the team. Oh, shit. It hurt me from behind. What? Come on. Yeah, so uh, you get med kits as well. You can only ever have three. I've now got none because I was just being a moron. So yeah, boulders are a bit of a hallmark of the Tomb Raider series. Uh, we want to come over here and swing. Now we're swinging. <coughs> excuse me. We're swinging on this. You can if you quit. Yes, you can do that. You can like swing off straight away. I nearly always fail to do that, but we'll see. Hmm. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rutland myself. You know it. Give him the radio. It's a snipe hunt anyhow. You saw the cliffs below the LZ. No way someone free climbed that. As Sanchez. <laughs> Nobody's out here but the idiot twins upstream. So I'm putting down anything that moves. Oh shit, you see me. You see me. Alright, so uh, we're introduced to the enemies pretty much. A lot of them are just mindless goons. Any idea who he is or who he works for? I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. 
Yeah, so they try and justify their completely um, uninteresting enemies that you fight in this game. But yeah, this guy was working for a man called Rutland. Um, not quite sure what's going on there yet. So the other thing you get are these binoculars, which again are just like a feature that I never really find that I use. But the tooltip told me to use it, so we can look at the little birds. Um, and yeah, th these are supposed to help you if you ever get really stuck in certain puzzles. But you learn pretty quickly what's an interactive object and what's not. Oh look, there's a secret there. So uh, let's grab that. Hopefully I'll get them all. I, I'm pretty sure I know where they all are, but I'm kind of forgetting about them. Okay, fly away birdies. Right, so we've got to find a way to get up here, right? You've got this weird tree stump thing, uh, which moves a little when we're stood on it. Can you see that going down a bit? Um, if you're quick, you've got to run up it. Come on, up you get Lara. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Uh, and then when you're on it, you jump to the top. Hold on. Lara, what are you doing? Come on, you can do it, girl. You're supposed to jump. Why won't she jump up? There we go. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's not a good sign of things to come. Right, so, yeah, uh, you come up, and then you knock the boulder onto it, like so. And it knocks the other end up, which, yeah, you guessed it. Go you. Uh, we can swing on the branch from. And up we go. So here we go, this is the temple, well the start of the ruins I guess. Uh, and here we get our first taste of Lara's wreck. Oh yeah, you get uh, the grappling hook as well. Uh, that pretty much Crystal Dynamics have done a trilogy of uh, Tomb Raider games since the rebooting of the series. They're actually rebooting it again, which I'm not sure about, but in those you get the grappling hook. Uh, which is like this new feature, and yes. For an archaeologist she really does care about <laughs> destroying ancient ruins, but there you go. Um, and we can come in. <coughs> and we'll see this a lot. Oh, more goons. Jumped out and started swinging. Yeah, sort of danced around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah. Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. What the hell are they talking yeah, about? Yeah, whatever, man. Came flying at me, screaming monkey talk like that, and I just did the first thing that popped into my head. Just bam, flicked it right between. Oh the God, eyes. they're talking about monkey. And started smoking it. That's what it wanted. Oh, oh a smoking monkey. Go Lovely. Crazy when they see you smoking. Okay, Get time to die. Out. Right, so the goons on this game, a few of them sort of have these really long, quite funny conversations, I must say. Uh, I'll try to listen to them kind of for the start. The question is, why go to this much trouble to guard some ruins? Mm, yes, indeed. Quite. Indubitably. So yeah, they all have their conversations. I'll try and listen to them so those guys talk at length about a smoking monkey. Um, you guys let me know. What, what, do you want to see the whole thing or do you want to... Uh, oh god, I nearly fell down. Or do you want me to sort of skip it or what? Just let me know. Um... Yeah, so other things, bits of rubble break, as you can see, so you've got to be quick. There's all kinds of modes for this game, like time trial, which I'm not doing, and stuff like that, which is where that kind of has more significance. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm only doing the main thing. I'm hoping to get all the secrets, but aside from that, I don't know what sort of flair my LP is going to have, which, I don't know, I, 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 like I said, I'm kind of just going to wing it and see how it goes. But I, I like to have kind of a catch, you know, like every LP kind of needs their thing to have them stand out, you know. Otherwise, I'll just be kind of like a bland... And yes, that's another secret. Otherwise, I'll just kind of be like another bland LP out there with nothing really to show me out. I mean, with with uh, Guild Wars, I did all that kind of... I tried to do challenges and made it focus on story and stuff. What can I do? I, I mean, what do you think, guys? What what should my thing be? Because I really can't think. I, I'd like to... Oh, my God. I'd like to stand out a bit more, but I don't know. I haven't got many ideas just yet. Anyway, um, right, so, <clears throat> big gap, how the hell are we going to get across it? Yes, the tooltips help us a lot. Uh, you jump and tap X, kind of take a bit of a leap of faith, faith and uh, we can jump over. Uh, right, now here's the next treasure. This treasure used to piss me off, right? I had pretty much all the treasures in the game except this one, and I had no idea how to get to it. You can't jump up. I thought you might have to go around or something. And it turns out, and they don't tell you this, it turns out that the grappling hook can get secrets for you. You just press X to do it, and then when you tap Y, it will grab it for you. I mean, how unbelievable is that? And I had no idea. I guess there is a little bit of a hint because of the, the grappling hook bit there, but I mean, oh, that must have been the last one I got, and it was so frustrating because I could see it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So come round, and we will see the temple complex proper. Isn't she beautiful? I'm falling in love all over again. You say that to all the ruins. I'm a terribly lucky girl. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil it. You're a tourist. Your case doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries, by the look of them. 
getting into trouble. Getting themselves killed is what they're doing. So um, the other thing in this game is like you can shoot environmental hazards like this, knock boulders down, all kinds of stuff, exploding barrels as you might expect, <laughs> and uh, yeah, completely pwn everyone at the bottom. So um, that we can look out for. I'm sure there's a lot more goons around though. That yeah. So you can also pick up their weapons when they die, which is pretty cool. Weapons in the old games, in the old series, I used to really like collecting the weapons. That was like my favourite aspect of the series. So you go through the game and you get more and more and you'd have that awesome cycling inventory screen. You don't get that in this one, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you do in their remake of the first game. Oh, the guns have disappeared. Uh, but yeah, so in this one you only get two guns at once. You get your pistols, your trademark, hallmark, uh, infinite pistols uh, with their infinite ammo. You do have to reload, but that's that's not too bad. And you can also pick up one alternate gun, which you pick up from people's bodies. And there's like a range of, I don't know, five or six of them maybe? When the game was actually being developed, they, uh, there were like signs of rocket launchers and revolvers, but they were eventually taken out of the game. In fact, if you're really interested in that, there's actually, if you play this on an emulator or on the PlayStation, uh, you can use an action replay, which has recently been made, which will actually let you have the rocket launcher in the game if you really want. It sounds pretty good. Um, but yeah, kill these guys. You can also, um, I'll show you in a sec when they're all dead. Come on, die, 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 die. You can also shoot like this pillar here, that one, and you know, just why not? And you can try and crush the guys. I feel like I'm forgetting one of the secrets down here. There's one, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I knew I was forgetting one. There's another one. I really hope I get them all. I really hope I get them all. Right, so let's come back up. I've got two in this area now, haven't I? Yeah, I think so. Come on, Lara, up you get. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Right, so we get the engine. Oh shit, where did he come from? You can't hide. You can't hide. He's out. So yeah, you get this big place here, and there'll be a cutscene when we get to the top. When I was filming this before, it actually crashed here, so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again. Oh dear, what was that? That sounded permanent. Death by irony is always painful. Amateurs. Oh yeah, just make jokes, Laura. Somebody just died. A man died. Yeah, she's very uh, cavalier with killing people, as you probably guessed already. So there's this temple bit here. Uh, there's a silver one down here. Just kind of break it through. There we go. Um, so yeah, you get the bronze. The bronze ones are kind of just off the beaten path, while the silver ones take a little bit of thought I and mean, are reasonably well hidden. And every level has a single gold one, which is usually related to some big. Yeah, last time it crashed when I picked up this gun, so I'm not going to pick that up. Yeah. So some guys just died in here. What was it? We can see there's a grapple thing there. Any ideas what might happen if we go forward? We know there's a trap here. Uh, you can kick stuff. So how about we just kick this block? Just oh dear. Oh dear, okay, alright, so my controller's vibrating like mad right now. Yeah, so, um, what you gotta do is run, grapple, and save yourself. There we go. Hardcore. Glad you're on your toes. And we're it's into a, a death. Survival skill. So we got some chains. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Tomb Raider games. What's all this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders had to tunnel around hard rock deposits. Hmm, okay. So, if you're not uh, familiar with the Tomb Raider games, first, shame on you. Second, um... <laughs> They're pretty much adventure puzzle games, so you get adventures, you get puzzles sometimes. The old games were a lot harder with their puzzles, and also a lot more frustrating. This one's probably a lot easier, all of the new ones are, are a lot easier, which a lot of people get annoyed by, but I actually, I like it because it's uh, a little bit less frustrating to do. Anyway, I always thought that was going to be the first puzzle run, but it's not. You just climb up the chains, which are slowly coming down. And we slide down this one. That's got to hurt your hands. And, uh, and yeah, we're, we're kind of exploring in the temple now. Yeah, use my light. We get a nice little pool of water. Uh, Lara can swan dive, which is pretty cool. And uh, down we go. Now, down here is a little... I love the underwater environment. Now, what you're supposed to do down here, you don't get much breath in this game compared to the old ones, which is quite good because it adds a bit of se a, a sense of urgency down here. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is come up round the corner and surface and then continue on. But... And I don't know how anyone can myth miss this, because I originally found this just by accident. If you come up halfway, there's this huge <laughs> pocket of air. It's not even like it's a small one. You come up here, and boom, there's a, there's a bronze right there. So let's go back down. So 
So in this game, yeah, you might have seen you can tap the action button to move faster. It's all very streamlined, very nice. But the big complaint people have with this game is that it's quite short. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I think it's going to be good to LP, because, you know... Oh shit, a Jaguar! Is that a Jaguar? 